Once again, the government strikes again, this time slashing judiciary's budget by three quarters. The judiciary had a budget plan of 31.2 billion shillings, intended to use 19.8 billion and 891 million shillings for the Judicial Service Commission. According to the seven-member committee, that means that all development projects will be halted and that as a consequence of the budget cut, 41 government-funded projects will stall, with another 21 funded by the World Bank facing a similar fate. The other effects of the budget cuts include the suspension of all mobile courts across the country. It will also affect, the, the, the cuts will also affect the rate clearance of the backlogs that we had promised we would clear by the end of this year. The strategy we had for the, for the judiciary was to move judges and magistrates across the country to stations where the backlogs are heavy and uh, for them to, to clear. And we were set and clear that we were going to clear those backlogs before the end of the year. The other effect is uh, the, the ICT mobilization of the court systems. This initiative, which is part of the judicial reforms, is also now a mirage and uh, the program will not continue. New constructions, uh, we had planned uh, to construct the Court of Appeal premises at Upper Hill and the complexes, at, uh, I mean the uh, court complexes in Meru and the Kisi. These are now out of question. The Judicial Service Commission, which has a wide mandate, mandate will, be, will be seriously affected. Maraga expressed frustration with the National Treasury and willingness to approve an extension of World Bank loan facility extended to the judiciary upon which 21 ongoing projects are reliant set to end in December this year. Compared to other years, the judiciary was allocated 2.6 billion shillings in 2014 2015, 188 billion shillings 2016 2017. Maraga also states that the efforts to get clarification as to why the government slashed their budget were futile. Attempts to, to reach the authorities concerned, but that, those have not been successful. Their remarks come barely two months after Treasury CS Henry Ruchit read the 2018-2019 budget. The slashing of the JSC budget raises question if this is what revisiting the judiciary means.